Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the scene builder in Eclipse in just a few minutes of your time. It is really simple, so let's get started. The first most important thing you need to do is set up Java effects to work in Eclipse, which is totally a different tutorial and I'm not going to show it here, but if you need help with setting Java effects to work in Eclipse, I will link the video in the description. This tutorial is about setting up the scene builder. So I'm going to assume you have your Java FX ready. Now, once you can open your Java FX projects like this in Eclipse, once you have that set up, that means you can that means you can set up your scene builder. So the next thing is going to be installing and downloading the scene builder, which I'm going to show next. Okay, so you can open this link from the description or just Google Scene Builder Download and this will pop up, but I will put the link in the description and just go down here and download which one you need. I'm going to download the one for Windows. So just click download and as you can see, and just in a second, it will start downloading. It's loading up. Okay, so it has 84 megabyte. It's not much. Just click save file. And as you can see, it is downloading. Okay, once it has downloaded, just click it. And it's going to say, do you want to continue? This can contain viruses, but just click OK. It's perfectly fine. And now we're on the setup. So just accept the agreement, click install, all that stuff, next, next, next. And it's going to start installing. And just click yes. Once it installs, it is really important for you to remember the location of where you installed it because you're going to have to link it to your Eclipse and I'm going to show you that in the next step. Okay, the installation was pretty easy. Now head back to your Eclipse and just go to File, New and open your JavaFX project. You can name it anything you want. It doesn't matter, click next. This is really important, exclude this, click next once again. And in this part, you're going to have to choose FXML. So this is a really important step. And now click finish. Now Eclipse doesn't recognize your JavaFX. Uh, this is the part which I cover in a different tutorial. Just add your user library that we created and click apply. And you need to go to your main, run it, and you're going to get an error, which you fix by updating this code. So you go to arguments of your main and click and add this code, which I'm going to link. Now, this is the process you have to do every time you set up your JavaFX in Eclipse. And I covered that in a different tutorial. And just click run and now you can see you can run your application now the part you're here for the scene builder so once you have your JavaFX set up you can right click sample dot fxml and click open with scene builder but it's not going to work because you have to set up the path to your scene builder so how you do that you go to window preferences JavaFX just click it and scene builder executable and you, you need to link your scene builder executable. So you go to browse and you go where you installed your scene builder. For me, this is the local disk C program files scene builder. And it's probably the same for you, but if it's not just go to search and search for your scene builder and you need to find exe. So this is this one, the application click open. And once you link that, click apply, apply and close. You can come here, right click sample and click open with scene builder. And it should load up. It should work perfectly fine. Just wait for a few seconds until it loads up. And now you can add anything you want. So you can add containers. Let's add a V box. You can increase the size. Uh, you can add the buttons. You can add anything you like. So, okay, you add button. 
you add another button, you can play with the settings and another scene builder tutorial is coming really soon. I'm going to explain how you work in the, in the scene builder. So what does all of this mean? But for now, this is a really important thing for you to set up the scene builder. So let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to ask them in the comments. If something is not working, I will try to help you and see you guys in the next video. Bye.